Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host here, Gigi Faison. And in today's video, my hope is to give you another grand old idea of something that you may want to do for Father's Day. And I will also give you a few tips of how to make the day go a lot smoother if you plan to take him out on a trip or a journey or an adventure. So guys, tip number one, if you're planning to take your favorite guy out to dinner or lunch, um, call ahead at the restaurant and maybe even make a reservation and make sure you arrive early. The wait time sometimes can be discouraging. And guys, let me tell you, the food at this waterfront restaurant was delicious. I had the fish tacos. Don't they look good? Yes, they were. They were absolutely delicious. And hubby had this local grown sea bass. Yes, he enjoyed his meal. He enjoyed it so much that when we ate our lava cake, I failed to record. I completely forgot all about got all about it. So here we are out on the um, pier at the on the deck. We were able to walk out, um, but we were not able to eat out because the weather was bad, and so they wouldn't allow anyone to eat out there. But we could walk out and on look at the boats um, going by and just enjoying the the view of the boats and just had a great time so guys continue to watch and continue to enjoy Tip number two, make sure the outing is someplace that we would really like to go, that we will actually enjoy ourselves. Yes. Yes. Great myrtle. Yeah, we did cut those down. Nice grapevine. That needs to be in our garden. Guys, the fish are jumping all over the place in this water. It is so amazing to see. This is just the type of stuff that Ooh. my husband loves to look at on TV. So he is really enjoying himself and so am I. This is unlike anything I have ever seen before. And to see him actually enjoying himself. Oh guys, and this is my nephew here. Uh, not really. I don't know the guy, but he's just extremely nice. So I told him I would call him nephew. Tip number three, take lots of pictures 
enjoy one another, and make sure you include the year somewhere in your clip so that when you look back over the years, you will know exactly what year it was. All right, guys, continue to watch, continue to enjoy, and don't forget to leave me a comment down in that comment section of what you think. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Goodness you, yeah. <laughs> So you cut the gill to do what? So what happens is, like, if you other people hit them in other places to kill them. Mm -hmm. Cut the gill plates while their heart's still beeping, uh, beating, and pump all the blood out of the meat. You know, they bleeding through their, like, it's basically like their lungs. Okay. So all, all the blood is circulating through their body and coming out their lungs into the water. So basically, they stay alive until they, they lose all their blood. Then once they lose all their blood, they die and the meat tastes better. Like animals. Don't mind if I mm. show you in my video here. I'm doing <laughs> And tip number yes. four yeah. is to make sure you have fun and you enjoy <laughs> others. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Be blessed and take care and watch the um, pictures that I have to the end. Thanks guys. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit the notification bell if you're new, and share this video if you like. I'm your host, Gigi Faison. And I appreciate you all for stopping by. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers.